It is super easy to say that we should Let's parent go. with calm, but that's not when you are exposed with kids that are very, very annoying. Yes. Hello, parents, and welcome back to my channel. It is UC Blessings, and today I want to talk about how to parent and the various strategies you can apply to help your toddler obey and maintain a good character. So we're just going to talk about them because they are easy, simple ways to apply. Which you wow! But the important thing is to stick with what works with you. So um, number one tip is to try to understand these children. Um, one thing to say is that um, these children are human beings like us. They are growing up to be adults. So we should begin to see them that like that and we should not think of them as people without names and even think about calling them names. No. We should respect the fact that they are human beings and try to understand, okay, what's the character of this child? Okay, what's the the personality of this child? Because if we understand these things, it will help us in the way we relate with them. You can start the children. Number two, don't always be quick to beat beat them. You know, there is a beating you beat them. <laughs> you know that it really pain them. Don't um, be quick to do that at every form of offense, you know. I've what? done that before and I know that it doesn't work. What it will do is that it will instill fear. So you're not like I'm not informed that it is still fear, it still fear with them. It's just that sometimes oh I my God. Them and I beat them, oh, they cry and then I be like in my mind I be like, Oh, he has gotten this correction that this is very wrong and he will not attempt to take it. But that doesn't really work out in the long run. Okay. So um I noticed uh, there was something my son did some days back. Um, and so I knew he did that because I saw it being done, but it wasn't like my, I had the sound of what he did and then I, I, it wasn't like my eyes was fixed on it. And so I asked him, did you do that? He said, no, <laughs> did you do oh that? He said, God. no, ah, I already knew <laughs> in my heart, it really pained me. Oh God, this boy is being to be afraid of me. I know it will not um, really um, go down well when your child is now afraid of you. So I really needed to fix that. Okay? And so <clears throat> I called this attention. I said, no, don't worry. I'm not going to beat you. Just tell me the truth. Did you do that? He said, no. He what? Saying, I think we went like four times. He didn't it. We said, and I carried him up. You know, I tried to make him um, happy. The, the, one of the bonding things we normally do, carry him, pet him, say, okay, did you do that? I said, yes. So, okay. Thank you. I wanted to shout, wow, that, oh, that you really big enough to do that. You know, I wasn't going to school, I wasn't going to beat you. And so he got that. Then the next day, so I left him, I didn't beat him, I just corrected him. The next day, like two weeks later, uh, he, there was something else he also did. And so I was asking him, what did you do? He didn't say anything again. What do you do? He said, oh, I've already apologized. I've said, I'm sorry. I've said, I'm sorry. I said, okay, but what did you do? What did you do? And then he told me. And so with time, we started to break away from uh, the line because of fear of being beaten. Okay, while uh, to prevent that, let's check out other strategies, other ways that are going to help us to stay in tune to be able to get this, uh, what works, parent with calm, you know. Using rewards, using rewards. Rewards go a long way. We, we need to always reward them when they are. They do things well, reward them. It could be reward by putting their favorite channel. It can be by giving them, releasing their toys for them to use. It could be by taking them out. Always reward the good character they have portrayed. Because we always say what not to do. So we need to also reward them when they do these uh, good things. And when we always reward them, they want to keep at it, want to keep being the best, want to be obedient, want to be the best because you encourage that positive character. So number three is that we need to always pray for them. Pray for them. Study the word of God for them. Make them to understand the word of God down to their level. Break it down in a way they will understand them understand it pray 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 every time for them prophesy over their lives it will really go a long way once you're praying and you're balancing balancing it up physically you know you tell them physically what to do you teach them what to do you show it that's the fourth tip you need to show that character you're teaching them 
show them those uh, kind of magic works I've talked about in several videos. You can check some in my script descriptions. Uh, magic words. Um, thank you, please, and show them because you're also polite. You're respectful in the things you do. When they're saying that you're respectful, it's easy for them to be respectful. But, but when you are showing a, 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 a reverse of it, they are not going to copy that. They always try to do what they see. Whatever they see, the children, they are innocent. But they always try to do what they see. So let us model what is right for them to do. And finally, the fifth tip is to to watch out for their associations who are their friends look out for those friends make sure that the people that are in their circle of influence are not negative people there are people you also know are good children because they easily learn from their peers you know they easily um, are influenced from their peers so it's important to watch out for those people that are, that are friends with them so another thing to note in this is where do you take them to when you take them to those places, what are they exposed to? Okay, because they hear things in the environment, they hear children talking, they see the way children talk, they see the way children dress, dress you know. So you need to expose them in into the areas that promote your value, your family value. I have my family value, which are some of which are creativity, spirituality, respect, love, and so on. Make sure that the place you take them to are places that promote your own personal value. <laughs> because if you are saying, oh, you don't want them to be rough, you don't want them to be like that. What? Like people that are uneducated. And then you take them to where they are at. Uh, you see that, oh, you say, oh, I'm receiving breeze. I'm enjoying the world. And right there on the street, they are house. They are punching themselves, they are speaking in the history, they are behaving using profane language, and your children they are watching these things. That's what? how they will become. They'll begin to use those words because that's what they have been exposed to. These are the things that they have seen. These are the things. Oh my god. Heard. Okay, so the places you expose them to are the places just the the uh, ideal place you want them that's the value you want to be inculcated in their own life that's the kind of place you take them to okay and so god will just help us and don't forget as a parent to always rest always um cheer yourself up you're trying your best but you don't stop at that you keep improving you keep putting in your efforts okay don't say you are busy you know one of my students once told me, ah, my mother, my mom is always busy. She always busy doing this. Mm -hmm. And the way he said it painfully, uh, it seemed as if uh, the, the, the mom didn't make time for him at all. So oh. please, let's always make time for these children. That's another way. Make time for them. Whenever they come to you, they give them that time, please. It may not take long. It may just be 10 minutes, maybe 5 minutes. Give them that time because yes. you're your parents. You are their mom, you are their dad. You owe it to them to give them the time. Okay? I love so, you, mommy. Um, and don't tell them that you are busy. Oh, I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy. So, don't mention the word busy to them. You can just say, okay, I'll get back to you. Can you give me 10 minutes? <laughs> you know? So, hopefully like that. And then they will be able to understand, oh, mom says 10 minutes. I'm missing 10 minutes time. I have the chance to speak with my mom. <laughs> They will have the hope and they will be happy. You wow. know, we owe it to them. We brought these children into this world. It was true us. And so we should be able to give them that time and raise them well so that we don't regret when they are all grown or something is messed up in their lives. We don't have that regret. Make sure you put in your best all around, spiritually, physically, financially, and all around. Please don't uh, tell them discouraging words. Don't tell them that you can't do particular things for them when they are present. We always just give them the promise. Okay, I'll get this later. Okay, let them have that confidence in you. Let them not give up. Even when you're frustrated, don't show them you're frustrated there. And for your frustration, okay? Like, oh, were you expecting me to block money? That's what one of my students told me. He said, um, my mother said, I'm not blocking money from trees. <laughs> you see, but well, we know, no, yes, that we're not blocking money from trees. But you don't say those things to them. It makes them frustrated. It makes them feel like there's no hope. Let them have confidence. My mom, my father, my mom can provide these things for me. Especially the school things. There is a school thing they need at school. They need to learn. 
Or they say, oh, okay then, I'll try. Okay, next tomorrow, we'll try. Just give them the promise. You work towards it personally to see how you can provide it. Once it's something that is not uh, um, vulgar, not nonsense, not just toys. Something important, something that will, that will make them to become better. Please, let's do better. Thank you so much, big up parents. Thank you so much. Please like, share, converse, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like come your way again. Bye. Wow. wow.